Hi, I'm Daniel Silgales, Product Manager at Pepperell & Fuchs for Intelligent Systems. Today I'm joined by my colleague Dylan Scraba, Tech Support Specialist. Together we want to highlight our Pepperell & Fuchs G20 Motorized Drive Folder Module. Hey Dylan, are you aware of the benefits of MDR? I'm not. Key benefits of MDR include cost savings. Cost savings can range from 30% to conventional conveyors that operate continuously. Easy installation. MDR conveyors are easy to change motorized drive roller, leading to quicker uptime. Low maintenance. Motors that run continuously cause friction, unnecessary wear and tear on an entire system. With MDR, there are no motors, gearboxes, and belts. It's virtually maintenance free. Safety. MDR conveyors operate at a low voltage of 24 volts DC. Quiet operation. MDR conveyors operate at 65 to 70 decibel noise level. So Donius, what MDR suppliers can the G20 module work with? So while the focus of our discussion is G20 motorized drive roller modules, I want to break it down into two primary categories. Pepperell and Fuchs offers a number of modules in the G20 housing to support connectivity to various motorized drive rollers and smart motors. These include Interol, Ito Denki, Rule Mecca, and Rolex motorized drive rollers. Pepper and Fuchs also offers G20 modules able to easily connect to SEW EuroDrive and Lenza smart motors. Pepper and Fuchs G20 motor control module is an ideal selection for material handling applications. Sensors and motors are connected using integrated motor and sensor cord sets, speeding up installation, reducing wiring, and most importantly, reducing overall complexity. Next, the housing style fits perfectly into roller conveyor frames without visible wiring. Finally, the module is easy to install, requiring minimal installation tools. So Dylan, can you tell our viewers a little bit more about the conveyor arrangement we have set up here today? Absolutely. So we have our Pepperland Fuchs G20 module, as well as two photo eye sensors that will act as digital inputs for the conveyor. The other cables from the G20 module are going to the drive motors that will actually move the conveyor.